Oh, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we're back with a <laughs> unboxing. Yes! Do you see the size of this box? Good God, what did I order? Well, you guys have been tagging me and asking me, Miss Coffee, could you check out this new company? Um, I don't remember the name of it. It's Oriola, Ori Loa, Ori Loa Island something. We'll get into the box. Anyways, I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. I got you super zoomed out. So uh, if things are not in focus, don't worry. I'll zoom you back in soon. So let's see what's in this big old mamma jamma. So we got some paper. We got paper in our box. And the name of the company will be on Island of Arts. So it's Oriola, Ora Loa, Ora Loa, Island of Arts. All right. And I looked for an unboxing of this company so I can figure out how to say the name, but nobody was saying the name. So if it's wrong, don't come at me in the comments, okay? It was hard trying to figure this out. Anyway, so what do we get? We got one kit. Look at that. Now, I do know that they have factories or warehouses in France and Canada, if I remember correctly from the website. Holy moly. All right, get the hell out of here. So we got two. We got two boxes. I didn't... Okay, what y'all need to understand is when I do these unboxings, I don't look at the size. I see the image and I go, ooh, look, I like that. And I get it. I don't care what size it is. So we have two. Two, two boxes, okay? So we're going to go with the bigger one first. Of course we're going with the bigger one first. So let's zoom you in a little bit. Bloop. So what do you guys think? Have you ever tried Oriola? Or a, or a Loa. Sorry. Or a Loa. That's how I'm saying that it's going to be said. Um, again, don't come at me in the comments. I don't know how to properly say it. I've never heard anybody say it. So I'm going to say Or a Loa. So it's shrink wrapped. Get that out of here. We're going to get the stuff off my knife here. I got tape and everything. I just sharpened my knife too. And it's, it's taking the tape and everything off. All right. So let's get the tape off my hand. Sorry. Safety first. So what's in this massive box? Now, if you don't know Oraloa, Oraloa is a company that's newer, I'm thinking. They just popped up out of nowhere. Like, I, I've never heard of them before until about four weeks ago. Um, it did take me a little bit to get this. I don't know why. I was seeing other people order and get theirs before mine. I'm not exactly sure why. I don't really care. So just know it might take it a little bit. Patience, y'all. Patience. None of us have it. We all need to learn it. But it's a thing. But they do have licensed artwork, including Hannah Lynn. So if you see Hannah Lynn on the site, please don't contact me and be like, Miss Coffee, they're still in Hannah's work. No, she is legally licensed through them as well. So Hannah Lynn is with Paint with Diamonds, unfortunately. Diamond Art Club, and Oraloa. So if you want to get one of her images, I would suggest Diamond Art Club and Oraloa. I haven't even seen the quality of this kit, but it's got to be better than Paint with Diamonds. Anyways, our first kit. Holy crap. Okay. Lori Philophone. Okay, that's our first kit. Y'all, I don't know what happens to my brain when I be unboxing these kits. So after looking at it, it says Nafisa and the Lion is the name of this kit. <laughs> it's a little girl with a lion. Look how cute that is. That would be my Maggie. That would be my Maggie. So I had to get this one. So we're going to try to get into this without breaking a nail. So we're just going to claw our way into this part here and open up this. And open up that. And then we're just gonna, I, I turned the fan off, thank goodness, because this box would hit the fan. Oh my gosh. Oh. 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 It's still coming out. Oh. Okay, I think the box is empty now. So it's the box is empty, the box is empty. And their stuff is in French. But there is, there should be a toggle switch on your website that will toggle it to whatever language you speak. So I had to toggle it obviously to English and I can't read that. Um, oh, there we go. Welcome to the Oraloa Diamond Painting Craft. 
and it has all this stuff on here if you want to pause it zoom in to read um essentially there are instructions y'all don't care about no instructions we also have these release papers so they give that to you in like really cool strips here good god all right so you get them in strips like this now, most of us are used to the smaller release paper. So, for those who like the bigger spots, like I do, they give you release paper or parchment paper. If you're looking for, if you don't want to buy it and it doesn't come with a kit, it's parchment paper. Never use wax. Right? Never use wax down in the comment section if you heard this part of the video. And I'm going to call you out if you don't. I'm just joking. Anyway. <laughs> so, here we go. Oh, my gosh. Holy moly. How big is this thing? Oh my god, 71 by 71! <laughs> and it has 50 colors. Look at those symbols. So it looks like we have numbers, alphabets, symbols, other symbols, and more letters. All right, y'all don't care about that either. So I think this is a sticker sheet, by the way. This, maybe. Sometimes, yeah, no, it's my nails, y'all. I just, I'm so, I'm so finicky. So this is a sticker sheet. So you can take and essentially what you do is you cut off the excess off the sides and then you'd make little slits, not the whole way through, just little slits. And then you can like tear them off and put them on your diamond containers. So let's take a look at this image. 71 by 71. That was a big old box for a 71 by 71. Good God. All right. So, we got drills. There's a. <gasps> I love them already! They're in baggies! Look at that! Oh, we got, we got some stragglers in there. We got some stragglers. They ain't practicing social distancing. There's always one that ain't following directions. Anyways, <gasps> look at that! Okay, okay, okay. Look, 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 look. It has the canvas number and then the size of the canvas on there as well. So kudo points for that. Super duper kudo points for the fact that they're in baggies. This kit is rest to go. Yeah. And it also is poured glue. Yeah. Oh, snap. Hold up. <laughs> I just flung a toolkit. <laughs> All right. So toolkit, what do we get? White bowl with a funnel. We got a nine placer. We got a clear pin with a, a three placer on it. A purple squishy. A plate of blue wax. We got the little caddy of blue wax. And then we have those sharp tweezers. Please keep them sheath or they will stab you to death. Shank, shank. All right. This craft can be dangerous. Now, the back of their kit feels like a star or like a Dreamer Designs, but not as stiff as Dreamer Designs. It's like that polyester material. So we're going to take a really good look at those symbols because that material sometimes can cause blurry symbols. Um, and because I drill... I really don't know much about this company. Um, I want to make sure that, you know, it's, it's, I mean, the price tag was pretty decent. Um, I don't remember what I paid editing. Alicia will put it up somewhere in the video. But look how cute that is. I love it. Those symbols are small as hell. This is a square canvas. Um, From my, my knowledge, it kind of looks like a cross-stitch. No, because there's no dark lines in it. I'm seeing a line like right here and right here. You guys see it? See the lines? Right. Oh my gosh, my phone. School time. See the line like right here, right there, right. What would I be without this? Thank you, Erica, for this. <laughs> so it, it looks like they're in the, the forest or something and they're twirling around. I really like that. Um, so we're going to take a look and see. We'll look at the, the, the drills in a few minutes. There are squares, so I will be taking a critical look at those as well because you guys know I'm picky. So let's look at these symbols. That J looks a little... Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can tell it's a J. Looks like the ink was bleeding a little bit. Is that a three? I'm going to guess that's a three. Right... Where'd it go? Right there. Yep, that's a three. So it looks like the symbol clarity is there. Nice big bold symbols. That J looks like they ran out, like they were stitching the symbols on here instead of printing them. And it looks like the stitch got like elongated or something. Either way, let's look at these bottom symbols. So, so far so good. 
Canvas Clarity is there. I love it. I love it. It has 50 colors. Are we going to go through all 50 colors? Hell no. Y'all got things to do and so do I. We ain't about to sit here all day. We will check out a couple of colors though. Oh, sorry. If you're someone who doesn't like that noise that the crinkling plastic makes, please mute your phone for like 30 seconds. Or until you see me, stop struggling. Because I'm about to struggle. Oh, there we go. So y'all having a good day? I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope that heat has worn off and it's gotten nice. It's gotten nice here in North Dakota only because winter is probably like two days away. Anyways, so let's take a look. So we're going to pick out one bright color. Hold up. Eh, eh. Got to find it. Got to find it. Got to find it. If you've never been on my channel, you don't know what that, that noise is. That is the AB alert. Looks like we got a little bit of scrambled eggs with extra butter and sweet corn. I'm sorry, that's not sweet corn. That's uh, shredded carrots with extra honey. So we have two ABs in this kit, number 49 and number 50, which on their kits, at the bottom here, it does say 445 AB and 740 AB. So I like the fact that they're using the DMC code numbers and not just making up numbers off the top of their head to do for the ABs. Because that way, if you want to store your extra ABs away, you know what number uh, they are on the DMC code list. So we have those two there and they are the correct color. Does this not remind you of shredded carrots? Tell me it don't. I'll tell you you're lying. All right. And then this looks like uh, scrambled eggs with too much milk in it, but it's got just the right amount of butter on top. All right. So we got... Those two ABs, and let's look at the clarity of the drills. I'm seeing a little bit of trash in there, but I don't mind trash as long as the drills are okay. I'm really finicky about squares. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. Y'all already know I'm super picky when it comes to squares. Y'all know this, so we're going to be super picky. So let's take a look here. I'm seeing a little something right there. Looks like... We have some pretty good drills here. Sorry, I'm like really looking at these because this is a big old canvas and I'm going to be heartbroken if I go to work on it and the drills pop. So I'm not seeing anything crucial on the drills. I'm not seeing anything that I'm thinking is going to cause me worries. Um, yeah, they look really, really good. Okay, so the drills look really good for that one. Let's look at a brighter color. The drill consistency seems to be there. The drills look really good. They look cut really good. Um, except for this part. It looks like every once in a while you're seeing a drill with like a little bit of a a curve in the side of it. Like it got caught on something. But that's not a big deal because if they give you more drills, like the extra drills, then you should be fine. So, so far so good. I'm just going to throw this off to the side here. So this is what this kit's name is. I can't pronounce it. Y'all already know this coffee ain't good with names. Look how cute that is. That is freaking adorable. And we're gonna figure out where those ABs go before I put this away. So the letter F and that letter J. So J's are gonna be here on the paw of the lion, here on the leg, here on its mane, on its face. So it's kind of sprinkled in this tire or this lion here. And then the letter F. Now, I'm hoping there's some ABs on her. But we have an orange and a yellow, which looks like it's going to be strictly on the lion. So there's some Fs there, but that's not the right F. So there's a capital letter F for 721, and then there's a lowercase F for the AB. Um, let's see if I can find the lowercase F on here. Oh, here we go right here at the top that lowercase f there that is your a b so we got some up there and then we have the letter j right there um is also an a b so it looks like your a b's are going to be strictly on the lion which is great wonderful i love it but i'm adding a b's where would i add the a b's look at this beautiful little brown skinned girl isn't she gorgeous one thank you oralea Leia for including diversity in your kits. It's one of the reasons why immediately I purchased instead of waiting for somebody to ask me to purchase because somebody had pointed them out to me and I was I had seen them before, but I wasn't going to purchase until I saw this. Um, so thank you for adding diversity um, to your repertoire of diamond paintings that you have there. I love this. I love her hair. So I would probably add a little something to her cheek. 
little sprinkle throughout her hair of some like some of the accent color or the shading and in the white areas of her little jacket that she's wearing here I would add some ABs to that as well so it brings your attention to that sparkle in the center of the canvas instead of just on the lion because if one shines we all shine you heard so again this canvas two th thumbs up from Miss Coffee let's check out what we got coming on next so I'm just I'm literally just gonna scooch this over possibly maybe um yeah we're just gonna scooch this over so we're gonna scooch this over and we're gonna pull out the next box which is going to be this one now what is this one this one is whoop, i can't pronounce this either it looks like it's in french that's the name y'all my brain when i do these unboxings look listen y'all gotta give me a pass on that one because that side of the box only had the artist's name so the name of this kit is the bird of the islands and that is the image isn't it gorgeous oh my god it's beautiful i love it i love it so we're gonna go ahead and get into this one like, I was shocked because not a lot of companies do diverse images. And when they do, they're usually the traditional African art. And again, not that I have anything against traditional African art. It's just not my style. And I like stuff like this. This is more up my alley. Ow, I just popped something in my arm. My whole finger started twinkling. All right. So again, we're going to try not to break a nail. And we're going to pry into this box. There we go. Safety first. Then we're going to pull this out, or maybe we're going to, there, there we go, there we go. Whoop. All right, box is empty. We have our instructions in our sticker sheet. I don't speak French, but if Mr. Coffee was here, I would have made him say it. So this one has, what? This one has 55 colors. Good go. Oh, 666, six, six, yeah. All right, y'all know I saw that 666 down there. Look at that AB666. Y'all know I had to see it. Y'all know I did. Okay, so let's take a look at this kit. Let's take a look at this kit. All right, I'm kind of excited. I'm really, really excited. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't give y'all no schematics or nothing. It. Whoa, it's a 59 by 90. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, consistency. So again, in baggies, love that. This one is a round drill. Same toolkit, uh, tweezers, pen, squishy, blue caddy of wax, white bolt. What a funny, I don't care about that. So let's take a look at this. Now, this, I gotta dock you some cool points for that. I don't like that. Like, there's a deep crease in there and I, I'm not a big fan. Um, for a deep crease like that, what I'm going to have to do is, one, I'm going to have to get all up in y'all's business because, oh my God, I can feel this little girl's heartbeat. It's so big. Jeez. Um. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull the paper back. I'm going to put this underneath it. To slide this down. Canvas is tacky. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna slide this down. It's not gonna be perfect, but I'm hoping to get that crease out. So. This is going to have to be one of those canvases that I stick something heavy on because that, that crease is deeper than my thoughts. Like, oh my gosh, that is a deep crease. Um, so I got to dock them cool points for that. Um, I'm hoping I can get that out because that's not just... Like, that's not just the thing not laying on it. That's a crease. Cause I can get that plastic to lay on there all day, but that is a deep, deep crease. Luckily, it doesn't look like the glue is affected at all, but I'm gonna have to lay this down on something and flatten that out because yeah, that's, that's pretty bad. 
Um, hold on a second. All right. So yeah, that deep crease kind of ruined the mood for me, but I'm not going to lie. It is still a beautiful image and I will work my way around that crease. Um, things that you can do to alleviate creases, pull the canvas really taut, like make sure it's really tight and lay that on there as flat as you can. Like do it on a hard surface. Like right now I'm on my bed, so I, I'm not going to be able to lay that as flat as I want. So I'm going to have to take it downstairs to my desk and flatten it out. But uh, lay it on a flat surface, pull it tight, and then have somebody help you with uh, laying that plastic down. Also take like a yardstick and smooth it down. You can also take like a warm towel, put it on the back of it, and let it sit under something heavy for a little bit. That might relax the crease as well. That's the only reason why I'm not docking them two thumbs up for this because it's something that I can fix myself. It just sucks that it comes this way. So if I had one a piece of advice... There, I mean, it happens. It's 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 a kit. They get damaged. It's okay. But it, this end isn't like beyond repair. I can repair this. I'm not even worried about it because look how beautiful that image is. Oh my goodness. So she has 55 colors. Again, we're not going to look at all of her drills, but we're going to look at some of them. Again, it does have, sorry, I'm trying to, it does have, okay, this says 66 by 77. I'm confused. Hold on a second. Did I read that wrong? Okay, so down here it says 59 by 90. That's the correct image. But this says 66 by 77. Hmm. Well, there's only one way to figure this out. We gotta measure it. All right. Keychain of Doom to the rescue. So, what size is this actual kit? And is this the right drills for this kit? It says R089 at the, at the bottom. But what size is this kit? And does it measure true to size? Because it is a new company. So, let's take a look here. It is right on the money for 59 And right on the money for 90. So it is true to size 59 by 90. Um, I'm not sure what the 6677 is on here. I think that might be a typo. Let me check the other kit. This one says 71 by 71. And this kit is a 71 by 71. So I'm thinking that might be a typo on their end. Um, so if they happen to see this, I highly doubt it. But if they do, you got a typo on this one. <laughs> Um, and if you didn't know, they are on social media, so you can catch them over on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, at their website if you need to ask them any questions or have any customer service complaints. Um, you can take it over to them over on their social medias, or if you just want to tell them how awesome your kit is, you can do that as well. Sorry, I'm trying to get some of the bubbles I made out of this kit. So it does matter true to size. The drill quality looks really good. Now, I've never really had a problem with round drills. And there are no training wheels, which if you don't know what training wheels are, training wheels are those dark black circles that they have on canvases around square or around round symbols. They're on round symbols to help you. They're, they're essentially guides to tell you where to go. So there's no training wheels, which I'll show you here in a few minutes. This one does have three ABs, which we're going to take a look at, which last time they were at the back of the bag. So, eh, eh, AB alert. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So we have another scrambled eggs with too much milk. Um, That is not 666. Am I missing something? Uh, 54 says it's supposed to be 666. Um, That is not 666. Take it from the person that knows 666. That's not 666. What do you guys think? Write it down in the comments. Does that look like 666? Last I remember, 666 was a bright color like this. That, that looks more pink, maybe? Or pinkish purple? And then we have purple. We have lavender. 
Um, so if you're somebody who's new to diamond painting, you don't know what, uh, what, what ABs are. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's an iridescent coating that is put onto the drills to make them sparkle just a little bit brighter. So they will have the sparkle effect of like the northern lights or like a rainbow. Um, also, when you put it down on your kit, it will also reflect the light of the drills laying next to it and make it sparkle brighter as well. Because if one shines, we all shine, you heard. So those are our three ABs. It says numbers... 307, 666, and 554. So this one here is 53, which is supposed to be 554. This one is supposed to be 307, and this is supposed to be 666, but I'm sorry, that's not 666. Mm -mm. So I'm not sure if they use another DMC um, dye lot or not, but for the most part, everything else looks to be in order. So we're gonna look at the dark color. Look at it smashing that little bag. Look how cool that is. I love the little chubby bag of drills. And I'm not seeing any trash or anything that's going to cause me pause out of the round drills here. They're nice and flat. I don't see any extra knobbly pieces on them. Let's check a bright color. So let's get... Mm, let's try these because there's not a whole lot in here. So the drill quality does look really, really good. So there you have it. I've been jabbering enough about this. So let me clean up some of this stuff and then we'll bring out the other kit again. We can show you again and give you some final thoughts. But before I do that, we got to figure out where the ABs go. So let's look at our schematic here. Letter T. Is that an hourglass? Looks like a lowercase or uppercase I. And then whatever this is, this is like a sideways hourglass. So we're going to look for those symbols. So it looks like this entire little bird that she's holding, like a nightingale or something, that's all that sideways hourglass. And then in her hair, there is 666, which is that tiny eye. Symbol clarity looks great. We have some on her cheek there. We have some more on the flowers and coming off of her hair. Some on her little hair bun right there. More on the flowers. So it looks like they have a good sprinkling of AB drills in this kit. So you have AB drills going on the, the accents of the flowers and all of the flowers. Um, I don't think you have any on her dress, but you have some on the back side of her dress and her hair coming down. Um, you also have one or two on her cheek and in her hair flower here. So there you have it. And now we're gonna clean up and get some of this stuff out the way so I can show you both kits. All right, now editing Alicia, if you can help us out with prices for each of them. Um, first thing I'm going to say is they lost a couple of cool points because of the fact that this canvas had a crease in it. But again, it is something that I can fix. They gain cool points because they do have sticker sheets on their legends so that you can use them for easy uh, kitting up or down, which you don't necessarily need to do because extra super duper cool points because both of them are in baggies. The consistency of the drills and the canvases seem to be on point. And I'm gonna fix that so it doesn't cause any more problems in my kit. So uh, they did, when they finally did ship, they did ship in a good amount of time. It also, I didn't notice this until right now. So I'm gonna back you up a little bit. Here at the bottom, it tells you the artist's name, the size of the kit, and then the size in inches in case you want to frame your kit. So this is what it is in inches, the actual size of the kit, and then the artist's name. And of course, I like the little art symbol on there. It is a branded canvas. It is poured glue. The symbol clarity is great. So what does Miss Coffee think? If you haven't tried them, go check them out. Another licensed diamond art or diamond painting company in the mix. And I have to say they're a force to be reckoned with because these are some of the best canvases I've seen in a long time on top of the canvases I normally show. These, for it being a new company, I think it's new. It's new to me. That's what I'm going to say. It's new to me. And for being new to me, for me this be, for this being the first time I've ever unboxed them, I'm highly impressed. So I would have to say definitely would highly recommend this company. Um, they're definitely going to be going in my top five companies to shop from, which if you don't know what the top five companies are, DIY Moon Shop, Diamond Art Club, in no particular order, by the way. So DIY Moon Shop, Diamond Art Club, Craft Ease. We're going to go with Craftably and now Oraloa. 
So if you are someone that is looking for licensed artwork and a good company, check out this company. Again, they do have warehouses in France and Canada, I believe the website said. So uh, just make sure you click over to English if you speak English or whatever language you speak because the website is in French. So with that said, that's it for me today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate you listening to me jibber-jabber for the last half hour. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. I don't give a crap. Leave me your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of these two canvases. Have you ever tried this company? Have you ever heard of this company? What do you think of these two canvases? Leave all that down in the comment section below. But with that said, I got to get out of here, folks. There's two tiny humans that are waiting for lunch. So with that said, be safe out here in these crafty streets. If you're in one of these, these states that is experiencing this heat wave, stay hydrated, drink your water, girl. Yes. But with that said, I really must bid you adieu. But not for reminding you to please stay safe out here in these crafty streets. Y'all know there's a panoramic going on. So wear your mask, wash your hands, don't touch your face, keep your six feet, and always try. Be kind. Be courteous. Be cool. Bye, guys.